Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I want to show you how you can include system audio when you're playing back a video in Microsoft Teams or when you're really sharing anything in Microsoft Teams. As full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. My HR department requires me to say that anytime I talk about Microsoft products. All right, well, let's jump on the PC and I'll show you how to do it. Here I am on my PC and I have a Teams meeting that I've already joined and there are two people in this Teams meeting. One of them is Isaiah and the other is Kevin and Isaiah mentioned to me that he has a riveting video that he wants to show me. So I've got two computers hooked up and joined in this meeting and so what we're going to do is Isaiah is going to go ahead and share his screen. So we're going to click on the share screen button right here when I'm logged into a meeting and then what this does is this brings up the share dialog so I could share my desktop, I could share a window, PowerPoint, a whiteboard, so I have all these different sharing options. And at the very top here, it's very easy to miss, but it's something that says include system audio. And so what you do is when you check this, when you play a video or when you play, say, a song or anything else, it'll include that audio as part of the meeting. So what I'm going to do now is I've checked that box and now I'm going to scroll down and I mentioned that Isaiah wants to share a riveting video. So let's go ahead and uh, share my browser window, which is uh, set on YouTube. Oh, and look at this. It's a video of me. Okay, so maybe it's not quite that riveting. And what we're going to do now is Isaiah is going to play the video and then you can see on my second computer screen on Teams, the video is being shared. I could see myself talking and I could also hear the audio. If you're a brand new user or if you're a veteran user, you'll learn some new things that'll make your usage of Teams even more efficient. And All right, well that was just a really quick example of how you could include system audio when you're sharing your screen on Microsoft Teams. It's really easy to do, it's a little checkbox, but it's easy to miss and I missed it for a long time and some, until someone pointed it out to me and now anytime I play back videos, I play them back like a pro. Anyway, if you now know how to successfully include system audio when you're playing back items, items uh, while sharing your screen, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And if you have any other questions or any other topics that you want to see me cover in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next time. Bye.